Rest in peace, my little one Cause I believe that I still feel Hey guys, my name is Darren, otherwise known as Sparky, and as a young boy I would import seashells from South Korea and make them into necklaces and sell them to the old people in my local village, but unfortunately things just didn't work out and instead I've had to venture towards the internet and I'm bringing you this video instead to bring in the income to support the family of cats I've raised on my own. But let's go straight into what's actually going on in this episode. So welcome to season 22. I am of AC Milan and per usual I am with the same team. Uh, potentially this is my last season with AC Milan. Um, and we want to pretty much just kick ass and just do everything possible to win everything in our in our grasp. And it's not going to be easy. But we have a team basically full of great fantastic players. A lot of big names, a lot of experience, a lot of trophies amongst us. And there's high hopes indeed, but it's not going to be easy. And we're going to go straight into the first game against VFL Hellas Verona. I think I pronounced that right. So we're going to start things off here with an attack in the very early minutes. A great cross in here to the back post to Aaron, who to the pass. It's Murphy and Murphy. Basically brings out an amazing save in their keeper. It could potentially be Clark Kennett in goal. Um, no one's actually seen his cape, but he was rumoured to be wearing it in the showers before the game. Uh, but anyway, that's a great save from their keeper and credit where credit is due. It was a potential opportunity to get an early goal, but he stood tall and made a great save. Anyway, we're going to keep going here, try and get a goal, but there's going to be a lot of defending here. There's a lot of balls pinging around. It's not really getting it under control, and their, key, uh, their player makes a great tackle on Kenny, I believe, who had the ball at his feet. Corbs cutting inside here, playing to Aaron, who's potentially offside, but he wasn't. And again, it's great defending from their defence. A lot of bodies getting in the way. It's just a lot of just people to get by, but it's a great little one-two play there. Events again, and they keep a keeper, Gerard in goal, funny enough, makes another fantastic diving save. Another corner comes in, off the line, potentially probably would be saved by the keeper. He probably would have just jumped back, was bent his back in an unusual way and saved of his toes knowing how he's getting on so far but the ball is still coming around and get it back into the box they're still going to keep pressure on them but eventually nothing comes from it now nice ball through here to me i intercepted playoff nice and cool again another interception nice and easy picking it up playing it back and trying to contain the pressure keep pushing them back pushing them back and eventually they will crack hopefully another great assist there or great potential ball through from drizzy but the keeper makes a fantastic save. Yes, again, it's going to be a theme so far, it seems to be, in this episode. Ball comes through there. Again, I just read it and play it back to Josh, and we start another attack. I run from offside position. I'm trying to get into the box to potentially get a goal, but my guy ran out and actually made the opposition just, well, it just went offside. So, again, my striking instinct isn't quite, quite there so far. Uh, I do apologise. My tonsils are a little bit iffy, so I'm kind of slurring little words, and I just sound like I could... I need a slap in the face and some cough medicine, but that's okay. Anyway, we're going to create another chance to the second half. As he was really dominant in that first half, we're going to keep going. This first goal is going to be major. Murphy here finesses it, but again, the keeper makes a cracking save down to the right-hand side of his goal. He's putting handshakes all round, and deservedly so, he gets handshakes back. Well, not handshakes, high fives, in fact. Anyway, then a great chance here. This we've got to stay strong with defending from a corner, but it's come back. He's offside, great chip, but it was... Offside, like I said, and therefore doesn't count. Now, another chance from the corner here. They'll jump through to Murphy, but he chests it into the keeper, and that is that. And now, Vence playing it through here to Kenny. Great opportunity, but again, the keeper was there. How is he predicting everything? He literally probably has a golden ball somewhere amongst his goal, and he's just reading everything. He knows where everything is. It's absolutely amazing that he's psychic. Anyway, Aaron the ball here. He takes a shot, and again, another save down that right hand side. Potentially we should be shooting left hand side because right hand side is on lockdown but a corner comes in here Drizzy to the middle and Murphy gets that goal and that is the breakthrough 66 minutes it took so long so freaking long and eventually we got it and that's a relief because 
I'm actually showing some composure there, so just remember that. I can actually do it occasionally. It's very rare. It's like seeing a bird nicking a watch from someone. It's very rare to see, but when it happens, you have to kind of just take a gasp and just believe it is an actual true thing. But anyway, we're going to create another chance there from a corner. I flick it backwards, but no one is there to get on the end of it. Again, another set piece. Events. He's taking a shot, hits the bar. Very unlucky in the 80th minute. I don't actually remember scoring... I don't remember scoring another goal. Apparently we have. Um, but I think it was Kenny who potentially scored or Aaron scored. Anyway, we're tunnel up apparently. I kind of missed that when I was talking about birds. So anyway, we'll defend here. Just get this sorted. Just get this game over with. The keepers made from fantastic saves. We've got a tunnel lead. We have to. We'll take it. We'll claim it. And we'll move on to the next game. Anyway, a nice leaping head alert. The Fox with a great acrobatic clearance to the edge of the box. And this is nearly the end of it now. Great tackle there to get into that guy. Nice and easy pressure. And that is that. So a 2 0 win could have been a hell of a lot more. Uh, but again, like I said, credit for the keeper to just do what he did was just fantastic. And hopefully he is te tested for some kind of drugs at the end of the game. Because I believe he was injecting something at some point in his life. So. This is now the Champions League game, so this is the Friday game, so we have one league game and one Champions League game. So obviously, good start in the league, but now we need to take things up another level and put in a good start against Numancia. That was probably a horrible pronunciation, but again, I think they did quite well in their league game, so we know it's going to be tough. And they start off really bright, brighter than my future, and get a really good early chance there. But Volchnich, I can't say your name, I apologise, I'll work on that over the course of this um, season uh, makes a great little clearance there but we're going to keep pushing ourselves keep creating chances as we do events there getting a blocked across in murphy to kenny kenny with deflected shot and it's off the line again is it going to be one of those games we just can't break through hopefully not because that'll be upsetting for everyone involved especially me as i like to have a few tears every night but then they keep coming they've got a chance here coming to the box but judgment's a great push away the header comes in slow motion that was very scary but it does go wide thankfully now again another Borneo I win a big header going forward and then again there's not really many headers I've won so far in this season it seems like a lot of people aren't doing as many balls towards me or maybe I'm just standing in the wrong areas but that's a great goal there from Kenny I believe it was and as you can see it's pure domination in terms of possession pass and accuracy is looking great but we need to start unleashing a few more shots we need to keep tight and hopefully get a second goal to kind of cushion this game away but they didn't get a chance here another shot from them but a comfortable save for Josh down his left hand side and he takes a tumble over their player and then he goes back for a follow through tumble but he just ends up losing his balance goes for a big kick and he's probably thrown their defence off guard they weren't concentrating ball goes straight through to Murphy he's going to take a touch here goes for the chip but it just goes over and Josh loses out on his assist and he is mad anyway again another chance here events here causing trouble nice defective block from them a ball comes through here from Kenny he goes straight to Murphy potentially potential penalty as well there but the referee gives nothing he closes his eyes waves away the play and pretends he never saw anything another great save there from their keeper fantastic save down the right hand side again they're loving these keepers are loving saves on their right hand side top corners anyway Drews again with another assist from the corner straight to Murphy again center of the goal and that is that so that's a 2-0 comfortable start here Again, I'm going to get to pick the ball up, show a little bit of composure, pass it out. I've really got to pass it out on these games because if I just clear it, I'm just going to invite pressure onto the team. If I can pass it out, we can start another attack potentially and just keep the ball. And it's something I've got to work on individually and I'm getting there in time. And that is that. That was two wins. One in the league, one in the Champions League. Great start all round. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. It's a little bit off in terms of commentary because I'm still suffering. Um, in terms of illnesses, but I'll get there eventually, one day. Uh, and as always, guys, thanks for watching. Take care, farewell, and be the same, and goodbye.